Have you ever wondered why sometimes it seems like God takes his time with you? If you do, or you have, then you're in great company. So let's talk about that on today's edition of Transformation in 10. Uh, I'm going to kind of be brief today and just share a couple of thoughts with you concerning how God works through process to position us where he's purposed us to be. You know, it is incredible to think that God has a way of mastering the art of our journey, even in those seasons when strategically we're not sure what he's doing. Uh, and so if you've been part of our ministry, the Metro Life Church, for any season of time, or you've been uh, connected with us here on Metro Life TV, uh, then you probably are aware of the fact that we talk a lot about process, and here's why. One of the foundational things to know about God is that he does things by process. God does things by process. Uh, you really see this clearly when you look in uh, the journeys of faith of the great men and women of God, it, particularly in the Old Covenant because there's so much more story there and there's so much more detail. We see with Abraham that he, from the time God speaks to him until the, and promises him, uh, that he's going to give him a son and make him a great nation. Abraham's 75 years old, but it doesn't happen for 25 years. And through that process, from 75 to 100, God walks Abraham through a process. And that process includes many different seasons, phases, and elements or places. Seasons, phases, places. No doubt, you know what it's like to be in a process, and it's imperative to understand that God does indeed take his time. And so we see it not only with Abraham, we see it with Isaac. We've been teaching out of that on Sundays, out of Genesis 26. He's in a process from the time he goes to Gerar until the time he moves back to Beersheba. He's in a process. Now, Isaac's process in that, in that scenario was a process of several years of time where God developed him gradually in teaching him how to trust God, growing his business, and showing him the power, the radical power. I'm going to say that. The radical power of covenant is revealed through the process we go through. So in the process, there is development. In the process, there is the revelation of covenant. And you can know that when you're in process that God has your back. Why? Because he's the God of covenant. So God engages us in a covenant moment or makes us aware of something, and then he moves us on this process of time, process of transition, process of development, process of preparing us. If you've been in a process, then you can know from a kingdom perspective, from a biblical level, you can absolutely know that God's got you in a process of a greater becoming. He's moving you Please, I want you to catch this. He's moving you from what you were to what you've been purposed to be. That only happens by process. Deliverance, development, destiny is all the result of a process. And God's the God of the process. Jo uh, Joseph understands this very well. When he starts beginning his dreams at 17 years old, he begins to dream. The dreamer comes alive in him. God visits him, reveals prophetically in the form of a dream, in two dreams actually, uh, the future. He doesn't give him all the details. He doesn't give him when. He doesn't give him where. He doesn't give him the full picture of the what he has in store. But from the moment Joseph begins to dream, a process ensues. And it's 13 years later that he comes into the promotion at the place God had been preparing him for. I want to encourage you today that you are being prepared by God. You find yourself in process, then it's him, his way of telling you, I'm preparing you. I'm preparing you for more. I'm preparing you to get more done through you than you've realized you're capable of. Process is how God unpacks, unlocks, and releases our potential. You know, potential is an incredible word, but it's also kind of a dangerous word because undeveloped potential leads to an unfulfilled life. I want to say that again. Undeveloped potential 
leads to an unfulfilled life. And so when the Lord is committed to revealing who he is, developing you in faith, and also in the gifts and skills and maturing you in wisdom, the book says wisdom's the principal thing. Therefore, with everything you've got, go after wisdom and get understanding. Pursue it. The, the scripture says in the book of Proverbs, pursue wisdom and she will promote you. She'll raise you up. And so in the process, when we surrender to God in the process, one of the things he does is he works his wisdom in us. He develops us. He grows us so that we don't experience a life of unfulfilled purpose because of undeveloped potential. So process is an, is an indication that God's saying, I'm committed to cultivating, elevating, and developing the purpose and the potential you have. So the process is designed to develop our potential, mature us in wisdom, and in knowing who God is experientially in covenant, and then fulfilling the purpose that he's designed you to fulfill. You know, as I said a, a moment ago, undeveloped potential leads to an unfulfilled life, and there's nothing more frustrating than feeling unfulfilled because you're not giving life to your purpose. So the process is God's way of working you through all of that strategic covenant development to get you to a place where you know him and you can fulfill the purpose he's created you to carry. So as a final thought, and I want to create this for you as a word picture, you know, because as we started by saying process more often than not takes time. A considerable amount of time, 25 years for Abraham. Jacob is in his uncle Laban's house, the, the, the thief, the trickster, the deceiver, harassing, persecuting Jacob for 20 years. He's in that environment, in a work environment that is stressing him and stretching him. You see, that's the good news. In the process, God stretches us to fulfill our maximum potential. The potential that God put in you, the potential, the gifting, the skill, the purpose, the abilities that you're not even aware are there. And so that 20-year period is a long time. But there's always, catch this, there's always a definitive conclusion at the place of the end of your process. And God owns that space and no enemy can take it from you. And God said, it's time. They're prepared, they're positioned, they're purposed. I've cultivated and developed them. I've grown them in knowing who I am for themselves. I have, I, I've matured them and grown them in wisdom. They know my covenant experientially. I have maximized and cultivated the potential that I put in them, that they were born into the earth to fulfill the purposes I've appointed them to. Because their life is rich with meaning and purpose. And your life is rich with meaning and purpose. And the process you've been in even through however long your process has been, is evidence of that. It's the calling card of destiny that God's put on your life. So Abraham, 25 years. Jo Joseph, 20, or Jacob, 20 years. Joseph, 13 years. David, 13 years from the time he's anointed to be king until the time he becomes king over Judah at 30 years of age. Jesus is born, but he doesn't become anointed as the Messiah on a human level until he's 30 years old. Your process takes time. So think of your process this way. Think of the process God has you in as a puzzle. The process is a puzzle. Now, I kind of really would like to say here jokingly, but not so jokingly, <laughs> that when you're in the process, there are a lot of things that are going to puzzle you. But seriously, and that's true, a lot of things that go happen to us we experience we're on the journey and in the process that maybe while we're in the process doesn't make sense that's why it's a puzzle the the puzzle is the big picture of what the process has been desi designed by God and assigned by God to perform and produce in your life so I want you to think of a puzzle every season in your process is one piece of the puzzle you see, there's one process, but multiple or many seasons. And the bigger the process, the longer the process, the more the pieces to the puzzle. 
So your process from beginning to end, from potential to purpose, from dream to destiny, that entire journey is your puzzle. The individual seasons that you go through are the pieces of the puzzle that fit together as God himself and as only God himself can do when he pieces the puzzle together. And the great thing is when we embrace him, and we embrace the process he has us in. He makes all things work together for the good of them who love him. Romans, Paul said in the book of Romans, and who are the called according to his purpose, he makes all those things come together. So the individual seasons that sometimes maybe feel disconnected or totally unrelated, or how could God be working my life in the direction that I thought he was moving me in, or this process seems to not be coming together. But I want you to think about a puzzle. In the early parts of the process, in the early parts of that puzzle building, things don't make a lot of, whole lot of sense. But the more you embrace the process and work through it, the more things become together, begin to come together, and God weaves and works those seasons and those scenarios that are each individual dimensions of the process, those puzzle pieces, He puts them all together, and when the process is over, the individual disconnected pieces of that puzzle have been worked together by the hand of God and the timing that he has allocated over your life. And when it's all said and done, the master has made a masterpiece out of the individual pieces of the seasons and stages of your process to bring you into the very place you've been destined and appointed to be. So if you find yourself in a process, and if you carry a promise from God, a dream, a purpose, a destiny, then you're either in a process now, or you've come out of one, or you're going to go in one. One of those three places. You're either in one, you've just come out of one, or you're getting ready to go into one. But watch the master take those pieces and work together to complete a masterpiece And what's puzzled you at some stages of your journey are going to come together. And God's going to fulfill his covenant. And he makes everything beautiful in his time. You can trust him in the process because he's moving you into position for a promotion that the process has qualified you to walk in. Thanks for connecting. Pray this word encourages you. Appreciate you being a part of Our journey together at Metro Life Church, love you. I encourage you today, hang with God. You're not going through the process to not come in to a promotion at the end of this thing.